Welcome back to this morning. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Dee. I'm you distracted. Right? I'd love to see you, but it's difficult being in front of all these, isn't it? It's a lot. I've, I've, I've decided I'm not having any more now. That is it. Well it's done. Well, well done, you. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of me. How's, how's oh. that bag gone over there? You, <laughs> you've eaten... I gave it to Giles. Oh, well done. I thought it was too well, He'll love that. <laughs> if you caught the start the of the dust. show, you'll know that the contest <laughs> of epic proportions taking place online right now. The battle for Britain's best retro suite is still raging. We're going to reveal your... I mean, that's a nonsense. We're going to reveal your winner very soon. Is that the winner? Yes. You're going to reveal your winner very soon. Before we do, let's cross to Josie, who is paying a visit to Britain's tiny sweet shop. Hi, Josie. Hi, Josie. Good morning, Alison. Good morning, Donna. I just cannot have you in all these rooms. Is that only thing? What's she got in there? <laughs> what is it? What you got in there, Josie? I cannot stop eating all Oh, no. oh, that was, um, you know, like the teeth, the gummy teeth. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. I'm at M.A. Candy. I'm at the smallest sweet shop I've ever been in in my whole entire life, but it is a world of nostalgia in here. Just look at all the sweets that they've got. Oh, I love them. The, you know the Skull Crushers? They've got the uh, wine gums, they've got the sour worms, um, they've got the good old bonbons. As you can see, a world of retro sweets. Look at this. We've got some magic mushrooms. Now, who put this on is the Hazard family, and they join us now. Hello, Mike. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. Are you? Hey, Mike. You're not just any old Mike, are you? No, I'm big Mike. You're big Mike. I'm it says that Mike. right over there, just in case you uh, you missed it. And we're joined by your family. Who have we got here? Iona, Alison. Tyra. Oh, lovely. Now, Mike, I mean, it's brilliant in here. Uh, you've really took everybody back in time. What made you decide to open a sweet shop in your shed? Um, it was Tyra first. She wanted a coffee shop, but too expensive. So Alison said, why not do sweets? So well, here we are. And what's your best sellers, Mike? Best sellers are jelly filled brains. <gasps> I love them. I've been eating the them all morning. Brains, that's the best seller. And me chicken feet. That's your best sellers, that's is it? That's the best sellers, yeah. Chicken feet. We've got the retros, we've got the, the lemon bonbons. And we also do the, that pineapple rock. Oh, lovely, lovely. And so, um, Tyra, it was your idea, is that right? Yes. You're quite the entrepreneur, aren't you? I would say so. And what's your clientele like? Well, we get everyone from, you know, small little toddlers to teenagers to fully grown adults to the elderly people. They come in, they see a suite they haven't had in forever, and they're like, oh, my God, I want it. So they get some and they end up coming back for more and they become one of our regulars. Lovely. And Alison, I mean, you do all chip in as a family and run this week. Yeah, shop. we do. Definitely. And uh, definitely. And it's just amazing. And this is a shed on your drive that you've opened up to a sweet shop to the community. Yeah. You must be so proud of your daughters. Oh, I'm proud of all three of them. I really am. I couldn't be any more prouder. Oh, lovely. Really am. Lovely. And, um, and Tyra, where do you hope to see... Iona, sorry, where do you hope to see um, your franchise in future? Um, I hope that we can, obviously, build it and then we can extend it and then maybe put a coffee shop on the other side of it. A coffee shop on the other side. And, and Mike, a quick question before I go. You've got loads of balloons out there. I have. Do you have to blow them up every morning? I do. I do probably about 40 or 50 balloons every day. What, with your own breath? Yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> The Hazard family. Yeah, the Hazard family. Well done, you guys. I wish you the best of luck Thank for the you. future. Thank you very much. And, Thank um, you. yeah, come down. It is the most nostalgic place I've ever been in my life. Absolutely beautiful. If you like sweets, get on down to M.A. Candy. Back to you in the studio. We certainly will. We Thank certainly you, the will. Dukes of Hazard. That was lovely. Thank you, Josie. We've got a little oh. one of those sort of shops in my little area in Knoll. Yeah, it's a little old-fashioned sweet shop, and I love going there. Should you it's shouldn't amazing. have taken me there. You took me to the doctors when I came. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to go to the sweet because shop. Because Aiden wasn't well. Can we? He was so that's fine. the reason we have to Can we? Um, <laughs> can we go next time I come? Definitely, I'll Thank take you. you to my little old-fashioned sweet shop in Knoll. It's a Thank lovely you. place. We've got some work to do now. Well, <clears throat> this is going to take me back a little bit. Yes. Let me just get in the zone. Go on. Well, this is it. Well, that was a bit. That was a bit too tight, down. <laughs> the nation has voted and about to reveal the winner of Britain's best retro suite, as picked by you, the this morning the viewer. Good luck to all of you. I can now reveal the winner of <laughs> Britain's best retro suite is. What is it? Sherbet lemons. Woo! 
by by 107 votes. Oh my, this is taking me back to like James Arthur. Uh, when he went, and then uh, followed by pear drops, 21%. Uh, also oh, 21%, 20, only 2,312 votes. So only Should we have a taste of the winner? And chocolate razzies, midget uh, gems, spearmint the right thing to do, isn't it? shoes, fizzy balls. There's one for you. Oh, thank you. I've got one here. Still the congratulations, lemon sherbets. <laughs> Still to come.